Gary, uh, long day for you today. Yeah, it's certainly a long day, but um, it's great. Just had so many people out supporting us, and uh, I think um, great turnout. So really grateful for everybody that, that came out to vote and also that came out to support us. So this is your first time uh, running for any kind of uh, elected position? Uh, since I think the sixth grade, yes. <laughs> How did you do back then? Uh, I didn't win. Okay. All right. But you didn't give up, and you waited till now to come out here and try again. Been out, got up pretty early this morning, out holding signs and uh, greeting people and waving. It's been... It's been a lot of fun, actually. I really enjoyed it. I think uh, it's been great meeting the community and having people come by and waving. It's been it's been an enjoyable uh, experience. Oh, I've been uh, out there in Sign Alley for decades now. Yeah. Um, this that, is my what, what, was you, what was your take on the whole day? How how did it feel? What was the electricity like? Or what? Well, I, I was inside for a lot of the day getting some work done, but uh, by the time I came out, the sun was starting to shine. Uh, I think a lot of the candidates were out there uh, from the early in the morning, and I'd really admire them for that. Uh, I know the Republican side and uh, the Democrat side were were uh, hunkered down, and sure. they were. Uh, I always enjoy people's company out there, and uh, so I'm sorry I missed a lot of it. But when I was out there, it was a beautiful day, and I understand it's been a. Uh uh, a long campaign trail, and uh, you mentioned you're a little bit tired today, and I know you've been putting a lot of work into your campaign. Uh, could you talk about uh, the process and how your first campaign running for town government went? You know, um, the process has been great. I mean, today, uh, let me start by today. Today was uh, a long day, I know for all the candidates. There was a lot of energy I saw, a great turnout. And uh, But I think if I go back four or five weeks, it's been a great experience. I mean, the people that I've met, people who have that came out and supported not only me, all the other candidates, and um, it's been a, it's just been a, a great, great experience. I mean, winning, losing, that's something else. But I think generally the whole experience was, uh, uh, was very inviting. And uh, it, it was an eye-opening. And there were a lot of other new candidates who, uh, who ran. And I think I even speak on their behalf, too, that it was just a great, great experience. How are you doing? Very well. Very well? Very excited. Very excited. Is this is the first time you ever run for anything? Um, yes, I think uh, so. Yes. 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 And, uh, any other volunteering uh, that you do? Yes, of course. Um, I volunteered at the senior center. Yeah. As you know, I'm a greeter there. I led, uh, I led that question. Oh, sure. <laughs> and um, also, I volunteered as a math tutor at the Framingham Public Library. And besides that, you know, as and when they have needed volunteers at my son's school, you know, whether it be a book fair or um, calling, um, you know, uh, when they had the kindergartners come in, sure. or um, you know, just anything at all. Always doing something. I'm happy to do that. Any any opportunity I've got and been able to make it, I've I've done that. Uh, can you talk about uh, what made you want to run for school committee? Um, well, I wasn't really excited about the results of the election this fall, so I I looked into what I might be able to do to actually take some action in response to my sort of not so awesome feelings about this fall and I am a teacher and um, have a sort of long standing interest in lots of grad school and lots of experience in education so I figured school committee was a good fit. Well, you're smiling face out there this morning the pouring rain and the cold it's still smiling now how was the experience out there at Murder's Row? Well you know this is uh, I guess this is probably my Tenth uh, election out there. We're not well. Then, then just the, the national and the states sure, and the primaries. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I just figured that that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you if you want to be a, a good, engaged citizen, you go out, and you vote, and you and you, you you pick a candidate and you and you support a candidate. Sure. And uh, you know whether it's a local, a state, or national, and that's what you do. So that's what I that's what I always do. And so, it, especially for me this time, I got out there at uh, just after six o'clock this morning. And I didn't leave there until we cleaned up the whole place out there, policed right. the area, yep. and um, I don't know, I'm waiting to find out what happened. Good evening, everyone. I have unofficial results of the annual town election, May 15, 2017. For Board of Selectmen, John M. Catino, 1,236. Aman Ali Hadri, 1,216. Board of Library Trustees, three year. June A. Harris, 1,050. Stanley D. Polnick, 716. Sue M. Curry's, 
1047 Margaret A Wigan 1320 Parks and Recreation 3 year Laura Hansen 1613 Amy Markovich 1267 and Christina M Anderson 1044 Planning Board five years. Kenneth R. Weismantle, 925. Muriel Kramer, 1148. Amy Ritterbush, 1364. Gary Trendle, 1032. For Planning Board, one year. Irfan Nasrula, 1253. Al Alfred W. Rogers, 945. Thank you very much, and thank you to everyone who put forward the time and effort to run, whether you came out successful or not. Uh, we all appreciate your volunteerism. Thank you very much.